Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sunny Side. I'm Sunny, and this video right here, right now, is for Virgo. Oh, it's, it's the Tarot video for Virgo for the month of May 2019. Hey everyone, once again, welcome back to the Sunny Side. Once again, I'm Sunny. I hope everyone is having a super amazing day. For those who don't know, I'm a professional astrologer. I do write the horoscopes for some of the newspapers up here in Canada. And if you want a personal reading, check it out in the description box below. I know this is not the astrology video. <laughs> this is not your horoscope. Uh, Virgos, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what's going on. But uh, the, for the real in-depth May horoscope video for Virgo, you're going to have to check out that video on the channel. and uh, Or just you know tune into one of the live streams in the mornings where we do... Uh, where we talk about astrology and we do your horoscopes. In addition to that, I have an astrology workshop that's coming up. Uh, and if you want to take part in that, it's on May Sunday, May 18th at noon Eastern Time, Eastern Standard Time. And uh, it's only $85, and it's all about understanding your rising sign. So you can be a Virgo, but you're like, you know, Sonny, I'm a Virgo, but like, you know, I don't, I don't really, I'm not like a worry, war. I don't worry. I'm not like one of those Virgos. I don't pick on everybody. Why does everybody say Virgos pick on everybody? What's the deal, you know? Or you'd be like, you know, I'm, or you'd be like, you know, I'm kind of introverted for a Virgo. Well, like, why am I like that? Or like, I like to get out and laugh. I'm not like your regular, you know. And so I'm a Virgo, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not into like, <laughs> I'm not into accounting and stuff like that. So, anyways, so if you're interested in knowing more about your rising sign, then please check out the workshop. Do 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 do. In addition to all of that, there's one more thing we got to talk about. Just one more thing, and then we'll get on with the cards. Okay, shuffling the cards for Virgo 2018. Fine, 2019 May. Whoa. And finally, right here. This is the astroside.com. This is our store here on the channel. My beautiful and amazing wife, SLC, my sexy little crap. She designed all of these really cool hoodies and le uh, leggings. Leggings are really popular. T-shirts for the kids, Sunny Side, Sunny Sider 2.0, and socks and mugs and all these really cool meme T-shirts and hoodies. I really like this one. I still my fave. And tote bags sweaters lots of stuff so if you want to support the channel or please support the channel if you're looking for a gift for people then check out the astroside.com there's a link in the description box below all right let's get to it so there's big changes that are afoot there's um uh, so virgo like stuff's been happening right virgo and so uh because jupiter is retrograde astrologically and saturn is going to be retrograde and uh, pluto is going to be retrograde in the, starting in may then um What's going to happen is we're going to be returning to a bunch of things that we just went through. And it all has to do with your node, uh, the south node, which is representing right now your home. It's uh, So it's not just your home, your physical home. It's There's a pull to something that you've had something, um, something or someone uh, that you've been wanting to do for a long time. or this, And it's been happening for the last two and a half years. Say like to the... Uh, 2015 to 2016 time frame we've been revisiting that and you know it's been a bit it's been a major struggle for a lot of people and last month we went past it we're like okay whatever next but now in May with everything going retrograde we're gonna go back to it and we're gonna try and clean up that mess we're like you know what I'm not so sure that that was such a good idea let's go check it out one more time so whatever happened at the beginning of 2000 and 19 that's been happening for the last couple of years uh that you know had you had thought i'd free you know had originally thought okay well that's the way it is hakuna matata whatever uh you're going to revisit that so check it out so lovers from the past are going to return you know like job offers from the past visiting things from the, just the past it's all coming back you're going to clean this mess up and you have all summer to clean it up and that's what's going on on top of other things Virgos, if you have kids, watch out for the health of the kids. That's a big deal. In addition to that, if you're doing a creative project, if you're working on a creative project, watch out for the status of that creative project. You're going to go back and say, yeah. So if you started dating somebody and you broke up, you might get back together or at least go out for coffee. And it's that kind of thing that's, that's happening right now. On top of all of that, Virgos might move uh, this month or the next two months. They might... Um, 
you might move. You might things might have been really good at home or home and family, and then like, all of a sudden you're like, you know what, man? I think I gotta like hit the boogie here, and that's the action of Virgo. That's the vibe that's happening with you. Anyways, for more about that, that's astrological. For more about that, you can check out the horoscope video. Let's check out and see what the tarot says. Do do do, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Ooh. <laughs> Vegas much sunny? Not as much as you would think. <laughs> so like, all right, here we go. The lover's card. Oh, wow, Virgo. Whoa, I just, okay, so astrologically, this is not astrology. <laughs> astrologically, you have some action going on in your astro sector of dating and children. You know, babies and making babies, kids and making kids. Anyways, the lover's Gemini, this card is Gemini energy. And so there's a lot of checking things out, a lot of second opinion. Now, I know when a lot of people see the lover's card, they think things like, um, watch out for deception, you know, watch out for meeting someone new. You know, that's some pretty obvious stuff. But actually, the cards mean uh, many different things. And another thing that the lover's card means, it means someone's going to come along to change your point of view. Now, let's look at it in, as it relates to Gemini. Gemini is the most curious sign. Uh, it's mutable air energy. So it's always looking. Gemini is a sign of curiosity. And the lover's card indicates that someone's going to come along to change your mind. Or you're at least going to get curious of something. Don't these guys look like they're getting a little bit curious? <laughs> so, Virgo, something's going to come along uh, where you're going to you're going to get some more information about something. Right? You might not be seeing the whole, you not, might not be seeing the, as, you know, the month begins, you might realize that there's more to the picture than you actually realize, which is, means there's a lot going on because Virgos catch almost everything. So look twice, you know, keep your eyes open for, you know, at the, it is the lover. So you might actually meet somebody. Uh, you might start dating somebody new, but something's going to come along to change your mind. Uh, you should be curious about something. Something or someone or something is going to bring some kind of new information to the table. And you're going to be like, all right, I get it. Now I get what's going on here. And that's what's happening for the rest of the summer. So May, what happens is May is, in May is going to set the template for the summer. And so according to the cards, anyways, as, it's, as we begin this reading here, it says some new information is going to arise. There's something that you're going, someone is going to present something to you. And it might be, you know, it might be sexual, it might be a relationship, it might be a job offer. It might. There's some new information coming, Gemini, that's going to, I mean, uh, Virgo, that's going to, you know, make you um, adjust your course for the rest of the summer. Next, the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is Aries energy. It means you've finished a project. It's Saturn, the planet Saturn, with the rings <laughs> wrapping around Aries energy. So you've finished a project. Now it's time to wait to see. It's not time to wait, but you've finished a project, and you've finished something, and you're waiting to see the results of that um, situation. And that's what it means. It's waiting. This card means waiting for your ship to come in. So when you put it together, somebody's going to change your mind about something. You're going. There's more information that's happening. You finished a project. Maybe you started dating someone. Maybe you started a new job. Maybe you moved into a new house, and you're like, "What the hell, man?" Or you did some kind of action. Maybe you started a new creative project. Maybe you got. Maybe you did get pregnant. And you're just. In, you're kind of in a holding pattern in May. Uh, as you gather this information, or as the new information is is revealed to you, uh, you know to see what's going on with everything. And finally, you got the you have the Ace of Cups, which is a wonderful card. You might you might indeed be starting a new relationship. You might start a new relationship with someone old, right? With all the planets retrograde right now, and so it's a card of uh, you should be experiencing some kind of new muse. New muse, sonny, new muse. What kind of word is that? <laughs> like, that's two words, man. Okay, so it's not like a gnu, which is like one word. New muse, two. Okay, whatever, sonny. It's not <laughs> so, new sources of inspiration, Virgo. You might actually meet somebody new. You might start a new job. You might 
Uh, but remember, there's a lot of revisiting the old and making the pieces work. I'll say it again. So this something's been happening since about the end of 2015, beginning of 2016, and you've been restructuring it. It came to a head about a month ago, and you thought, okay, whatever that, you know, whatever. And now you're going to revisit it, and you're going to like, all right, we'll check it out. We'll see if we can make it work. It's been very difficult for Virgos. And... Uh, but Virgos are going to be okay. So Virgos, lovers from the past, watch out for that kind of action. Job offers from the past, watch out for that. Moving, you know, if you moved, you might have to move again. Now, after you filter all this out and settle it all down and, you know, mix it out and make the pieces work, you're going to have the Ace of Cups. So you have the, a very strong possibility to make some big dreams come true or a new muse for yourself oh geez i said it again <laughs> bless you thanks man <laughs> so virgos get out there and um allow your dreams to come true look for look for that new fountain of inspiration and that's the action and if you meet somebody new say whoop whoop <laughs> that's make sure you say what's up all right whatever sonny and that's the action if you want to know about more about your rising sign then check out the description box below and uh, attend our, my workshop on Sunday, May 18th. And, uh, you know, visit the Astro site and uh, pick up some super cool hoodies and mugs. And uh, please subscribe to the channel, share the video, give it a blah, 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 thumbs up. And that's the action, Virgo, from the sunny side. I'm sunny, wishing all Virgos the absolute best of a super beautiful month of May. And I'll see you guys soon.